Hello from Qnature.com, this is Mark Josie. Today I'll be talking about the less lethal uh, or self-defense, home defense perspective of these paintball markers right here. So this is a big uh, topic because a lot of uh, places have been getting into this uh, subject these days and so we would like to try to show you guys around and tell you that oh which works which doesn't work and so on and also you would like to know the types of uh, projectiles to use and uh, like what kind of power you get out of these guns so um, this video I will be focusing on the Tipman TCR and the Tipman TIPX but before that I would like to uh, tell you guys that the highest power or the hardest hitting one is the Tiberius T8.1 Tiberius T9.1 and Tiberius T4.1. Those guns, you can tune them and they shoot as hard as 28 to 30 joules um, with bricker balls. These bricker balls, they are 6.2 grams hard uh, glass round with rubber coating. Okay, they're not, whoops, they're not paintball. Okay, so these things really have uh, a very close to lethal power. Now let's put this one aside and we'll focus on this topic today on the Tipman TCR and the Tipman TIPX. So um, in my previous videos or the videos in, in the past, I really dislike the TIPX for the less lethal purpose because um, of a lot of problems uh, with the gun. So the gun, when tuned to the high power, it's kind of like not function well, it leaks, it has problems with the CO2, etc. And the TCR functioned way better. But after studying the guns for quite a while right now and have been doing a lot of uh, tweaks and mods and stuff to them, I find out that there's a lot of tricks you can do to make the TIPX work just like the TCR. So they are both reliable right now, both shooting good power. Now. How to get the TIPX and the TCR to high power, I will do that, like I was, I'll talk about that in another video. But right now, I would like to say that um, these are okay for home defense or self-defense or less detailed usage as well. Um, <clears throat> so these guns, the, the, the two guns here, they have uh, a very special characteristic. They, um, they have the habit or behavior of always shooting less powerful on the first CO2 of the day. And then the next CO2 and on, you will get more power. So it's always like that. Like, for example, um, today I put in one CO2 right here or right here. I shoot the first CO2, the first magazine or the first CO2 is always around like, okay, for example, this one always around 16, 17 joules. And then you put in the next CO2, this one, the next CO2 right after that, you will get up like one or two joules. So it gets up to the 18 to 20 joules mark. And it was like, whoa, how come you get some good high power there? And um, it's kind of freaky. So <laughs> yeah, this one also acts the same way. Um, and in the past, I, I always find that there's a, uh, a power reset issues with these guns. And I say they are not reliable. But right now, I understand why they act that way. And... Also, I have tuned them to the point that um, it's really, really good balance. Uh, so you will get a good power for the first CO2 of the day and always that power for the for whatever day you want to use the gun. And then the next CO2, you will say, oh, it just get more powerful. But minimum, you get that power range, which is good enough. Okay, so right here, this gun, the TCR, Tipman TCR with the stock barrel. TIPX with the A5 barrel. Search for uh, wildlife control, whatever, rubber balls, and they sell those, okay? So they should be the same thing. Anyway, so <clears throat> that's um, my thoughts on the Tipman TCR and the TIPX. I say that they are both really nice and they both work uh, if you tune them right. Now, how to tune them right internally? You know that right now, you know, the key is to get a barrel for the TIPX and for the TCR, you need to uh, use the right type of projectiles and basically that's it. So um, you know that the external mods or external things you want to do to the gun. But what about the internal things, okay? If you just buy the gun, it won't shoot hot enough for any defense use. Um, 
out of the box, okay, these things are both tuned to about uh, 10 to 12 joules for paintball game usage. It will not shoot as hot as you want. So, um, yeah, the good thing is you get more shots, okay, <laughs> but it's, it's not giving you the power. So the power is nowhere near enough. Um, so in our other video, I'll talk about how to tune this and this uh, gun for the that kind of usage. Um, the internal tweakings, okay? And after that, it will be all be about uh, shooting stuff in front of the chronograph and getting numbers and such. So if you do have problems or questions about these things, feel free to ask me. But I have to uh, say this again, I do not sell any of these. I'm just doing lab tests and stuff here and then sharing my thoughts with you guys so you can know. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.